and good morning, Shafter High School, and welcome back to HQTV Shafter High School's news source. Today is Friday, November 8th, and here's what's going on in our general community. Uh, generals, our very own Shafter administrators have an important message that they want to relay to our Shafter community. So let's play it. And good morning, Generals. I hope we're off to a great year and a great start, and I hope you're having an awesome year this year. And, and as we move forward, I think a lot of you know that as we continue to make Shafter High better and better each and every year, there's a lot of things that we continue to add to make it uh, stronger and better. And we saw that immediately with the week of welcome, the first couple days of the school year. And then, of course, as we went through, there were weeks of awareness weeks or awareness campaigns. We saw that with vaping awareness, suicide prevention and awareness. And then as we continue to move forward, you're going to see several of these other campaigns. And simply just to give you more information and to be aware of what we have available, what your rights are, and also ways to help prevent behavior before it happens. Good morning, Generals. I'm Ms. Beedling, the Assistant Principal of Instruction here at Shafter High School. And I'd like to continue speaking with you about sexual harassment and discrimination. Discrimination against anyone because of gender, perceived gender, gender expression, sexual orientation, or association with a person or group with one or more of these actual or perceived characteristics. Discrimination against anyone that includes unwelcome sexual advances, unwanted requests for sexual favors, sexual violence, or other unwanted verbal, visual, or physical conduct of a sexual nature made against another person of the same or opposite sex is the educational setting. Sexual harassment is not allowed on campus at school-related activities and off-campus in some cases. Students who violate this will be subject to discipline. Sexual harassment is discrimination. Sexual harassment violates the law. Sexual harassment is prohibited in the Kern High School District. Hello, I'm Dave Boyd. I'm the Assistant Principal of Administration at Shafter High School. And I'm here to talk about behavior that may be sexual harassment. What is that? Unwelcome leering, sexual flirtation, or propositions. Unwelcome sexual slurs, labels, threats, verbal abuse, insulting comments, or sexually degrading descriptions. Graphic verbal comments about an individual's body or overall personal conversation. Sexual jokes, offensive posters, notes, stories, cartoons, drawings, pictures, obscene gestures, or computer-generated images of sexual nature. Spreading sexual rumors. Massaging, grabbing, fondling, stroking, or brushing someone's body. Touching an individual's body or clothing in a sexual way. Displaying sexually suggestive objectives. Sexual assault, sexual battery, or sexual coercion. Any sexual relationship between a student and a staff member. All of these things are seen as sexual harassment and should not be allowed. Hello, I'm Michelle Ragsdale, Dean of Student Services and Support, and I'm here to tell you about sexual harassment is not allowed. Any student who believes that they have been subjected to sexual harassment by anyone or has witnessed someone else being sexually harassed is strongly encouraged to report the incident to their teacher, the principal, or any other available school employee. All school employees are required to notify the principal or district compliance officer within one day of receiving the report of sexual harassment. All sexual harassment reports will be investigated and prompt action will be taken to stop any harassment, prevent further harassment, and address any continued effect on students. All complaints and allegations of sexual harassment shall be confidential except as necessary to carry out the investigation or take other subsequent necessary action. Sexual harassment is not allowed in the Kern High School District. Additional information can be found on the Kern High School District website at www.kernhigh.org. Reporting harassment, bullying, and abuse. Report it if it happens to you or if you see it happening to someone else. Report to any school employee. Examples can be principal, the dean, counselor, your teacher, or any other staff member you trust. Report to your parents or a trusted family member. 
or you can report directly to the Kern High School District Title IX Coordinator, Dr. Dean McGee, at 661-827-3149. If the school is not responding to your sexual harassment complaint or if you believe that you need to report directly to an outside agency, you have the right to file a civil or criminal compliant complaint before, during, or after the district's sexual harassment investigation. You may also file a discrimination complaint with the Office of Civil Rights. We've got a lot of information and some of you may be thinking at this time that why are you now receiving this? Why are you getting this information? I'm sure a lot of you have thought about other times that maybe you, you could have spoken up or you could have said something. Some of you may have wondered, why now? There's never a great time to talk about this, as well as all of the other awareness campaigns and balancing the academic blueprint, classes, instructional time, and making sure that you're having the greatest experience we possibly can give you here at Shafter High. So with this, as you've heard this information, this is something that we do take very seriously. And I encourage you, we are a Shafter family. We care about each other. We know each other. And if there's ever a time that you know of something to speak up, let us know. We're here to help. We are generals. We are proud of this community. We are proud of this town. Thank you. Hold up. Um, I think it was important that the administrators were able to share that information with us because I feel some of us feel like we're stuck in some cases. Um, but anyways, formal tickets are now $50. Get ready to meet the, the Roaring 20s at the 4th Theater this Saturday. Uh, if you bought the gold package, a winter formal ticket was included in the package. You need to go to the finance office and pick up your ticket today. Students who ride the bus, in order to take the late bus, you must have a late bus pass. If you are not going to athletics or tutoring, you need to be taking the bus right after school. Tutoring is available in the library after school from 3 to 7 p.m. on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. So remember that next Monday, Tuesday. And the Condor's um, field trip permission slips must be turned into the ASB office by Wednesday. Seniors, the cash for college will be on Wednesday in rooms 804 and 1201 from 3.05 to 6 p.m. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Martinez in the Career Center. Now we're going to send over to Alex for, for the weather. Good morning, Generals. Um, today we will have a high of 81 and a low of 45. Saturday we will have a high of 79 and a low of 45. Sunday we will have a high of 79 and a low of 45. And Monday we will have a high of 80 and a low of 47. Now back to Jensen and Lolly to May show. Clubs, Metro will have a meeting today, the last 15 minutes of lunch. It's going to be a short meeting. FCA will meet Tuesday during lunch in the old gym, and the General's Best Friend Club will have a meeting on November 12th. Key Club members will have their next meeting on Wednesday, November 13th, the last 15 minutes of lunch in the ASB room. They will be discussing the canned food drive, a dollar challenge, as well as sign-ups for the Shafter Youth Center's food distribution. Now we're going to send it over to uh, sports and upcoming events. Football versus Arvin at 7. Go out and support our generals. Admission is for adults is $8 and students slash seniors are $6. There's athletic tutoring design just for you in room 303 every Monday and Wednesday from 3 to 305 to 4. Stop by and get your work done or get some help, extra help when you need it. Now let's take a look at coming events. The 9th, which is tomorrow, is winter formal. The 11th is Veterans Day. The 13th is a late start a cash for college and then the 18th is a winter sports awards now back to lolly and jensen for the end of the show and on that note generals have a great day and tune in on monday for another episode of hq tv tune in on tuesday because oh, there's tuesday, no there's school on monday we don't have school on monday so it's a three-day weekend <laughs> whoop, whoop. okay yeah. so tune in on tuesday for another great episode of hq tv shafter high school's news source